So babe, I was on the Karyology Facebook group and this guy posted up a picture of like some pens and stuff and I was like, man, what the hell is that? It's like, <laughs> it's like you can get a leather man for like one. So what's your everyday carry? What's up guys? My name is George and I like backpacks. I'm Irene. Hello. <laughs> Alright, we got the Bellroy system work bag today. So Irene, tell me about this bag. What's up with it? It is my everyday work bag to and from the office. It's uh, pretty nice. It's professional and I think I like it. Alright, so why, why this bag? Um, I was looking for something uh, that would match with my outfit, something um, neutral, and something that um, would stand the test of time. Okay. So this for bag... For commuting. Yes. All right. So this bag right here is 16 liters. So it's a, it's a good size. You could put most of your daily mm -hmm. carry stuff in here. I'm curious to know what the hell you carry in this bag. It's <laughs> so, a lot. <laughs> yeah it's a lot so 16 liters and the measurements on this bag measure 18 inches in length and it's 13 inches high and it can expand out to five inches but the weight on it that's what could kind of surprise me about this particular bag is the bag weighs in at 2.3 pounds so you know what what's going on with the weight how, how do you feel like you feel like it's a little heavy even when it's um, like empty or what yeah i'm used to my north face i don't know what kind of north face i have um backpack so um the shoulder strap uh thingy was a little bit hard for me to get used to in addition to all the stuff i carry every day so yeah okay you can definitely tell the weight is it's a little heavy so yeah. let's we're gonna walk through the outside of the bag and talk about you know everything that's in the bag like i say from the bottom to the top but on the outside of the bag um, what kind of fabric? This feels more like a cotton, like canvas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like um, cotton. Cotton. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> cotton. Cotton. <laughs> so, so what I've noticed, even when you use this bag, just for a short period of time, is there's a lot of lint. Lint on it, you know, on the outside of the bag. So it's got that, you know, real cottony canvas. Mm -hmm. Not waxed, but just. On the back, okay, like the sides that you know brush against me get okay. really linty. I don't it's know like, if that's a word, but it's like peel, pe pilling, pe pilly, pilling, pilling. I think it's pilly, okay, <laughs> okay. So let's walk through the bag. I guess you know, one thing I noticed about the bag is like in these high wear places, just like often, like just looking at the aesthetics of it, mm -hmm. they went with some lighter materials here, yeah. yeah. I, I sort of like that uh, because it goes with most of my outfits, the black and the neutrals, but you know, I wear lotion, I put on perfume, I'm touching, you know, metro poles and whatnot. And then, you know, over time it's gonna get pretty grody. So let's walk through this bag and show us kind of what's going on with it. Okay, so it has like two pockets in the in the front. And okay. it has really nice little leather-like poles. Okay, these look like YKK zippers right here. Okay, leather pulls. Okay. And uh, the first pocket on the left has like a cell phone type pocket. And then it looks like a pencil slot. And I can't see it. And there I have my work phone. And, oh, it has a little, what do you call this thing? A, a key keeper. A key keeper. <laughs> Where I should keep my keys. Um, but it's not there. And my other, my regular phone is there as well. Okay. And then it's almost. These are pretty. These are pretty large pockets. Yeah. You know, like five or six inches deep. Okay. Uh -huh. And there's a, not necessarily like a high vis lining, but like a worn, different, mm -hmm. different. You know. Uh, an, it's fun. It's a fun pop. A fun pop of color. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a fun pop of color. I like it. Well, what's on the other side? The other side is pretty much the same thing, same deep pocket. I have my keys on this side, which. Now I know there's a key polish. Key keeper. Key keeper. <laughs> Should keep my keys. 
So I have my keys over there. I have my AirPods in my little case. Okay. In there. What else do I have in here? It doesn't have a little pencil so you are slot. AirPods. You are AirPods person. Yes. Team Apple for life. Okay. And Whatever. It, it seems like this <laughs> this cell phone pocket is padded. I don't know what the George defined terminology is, but Yeah, there's a padded cell phone sleeve in there. That's cool. Yep. What about the back? The, well, the, the back looks like it's got a pocket and then got the sh the shoulder strap right here. Yeah, you can remove them. What do you call these things again? The G hooks. G hooks. This metal, one has a little metal hook. Metal G hooks right yeah. here. And it's and seamed in and sewn in with some nylon, some nylon webbing. It's nice. Super nice. Okay. Okay, and again with the little pulls. Leather zipper pulls. YKK zippers. It just seems like it's like maybe a document. Pocket. Okay. Pocket, but it has this really cool um, pass through. Okay, so you can almost use this as like a pocket uh -huh, for when or I travel. a pass through. So there's a small zipper down here. Mm -hmm. I can't find it. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. I got it. I got it. So there's. So if you wanted to, you could put your stuff in here. Mm -hmm. But you just need to make sure that this bottom pocket all is your, all, all yeah. your shit will fall out. <laughs> yes, all your shit will fall out. Right. So yeah, I like the the pocket spaces on the outside. It's super super nice. Okay, so the closure on the top is kind of unique. They went, on, they went and they did another G hook. Mm hmm But without the metal thingy, like on the sides. Okay. Closure. So it's a little G hook and it's like a knapsack. Okay. Type. Yeah, like a rucksack type Ruck. of roll top. <laughs> and it looks like it's expandable. Oh yeah. So we got another loop. Mm hmm Okay. Because I carry a lot of shit, as you would say. And you could... well, it's a family show. Let's I'm be... sorry. Yeah, let's, let's bring it down, body mouth. <laughs> it's expandable. <laughs> All right, so it's expandable. Okay. And then the 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 clock. Cl the closure. The closure. The closure. It's like a magnet. Okay. So it's not zippered, but it's still pretty awesome. Nice. Okay, so again with a nice pop of color on the inside so, so what is all the stuff in your bag that's what i want to know it's everything that i need okay. don't judge me all right so let's move this stuff out of the way i have my apple um, macbook air all right okay i have my ipad pro i take all my notes and such for my meetings every day um I have my Michael Kors. I'm looking in this bag because I'm really reading, curious about this reading, stuff. <laughs> reading glasses, don't judge me. I have my wallet for my financials and this. This is my every, what do you call that? Everyday carry? It's an EDC pouch. For women. <laughs> I think the women actually it created this pouch concept mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the men jumped on it afterwards. Yes. So what's in this pouch that's so essential to your everyday carry <laughs> okay i have my burt's bees um moisturizer for my hands okay you so gotta stay moisturized um in case i have stinky moments i have a rollerball perfume by pacifica it smells like oranges so you cover up the funk with perfume is that what you're telling people <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if i'm walking you know after a long day i'm going from meeting to meeting from uh, you know one side of town to the other i need to Freshen up. Okay. Do men not carry rollerballs? No. A perfume? Uh, <laughs> my gum. Uh, and my favorite lip gloss, moisturizer, mint oil. Okay, Super so great. cosmetic products in mm -hmm. this pack. Yeah. All yeah. right. All right. So what else you got in the bag? In the bag. Um, let's see. Oh, it has some pockets, but I'll talk about that in a second. But this little side pocket is super awesome for your coffee mug i have uh, my bubba bubba tumbler um i think you have one too but mine is better yeah, and then <laughs> and then it has an identical sleeve on so the it's other actually side. two water bottle pockets mm -hmm. on the inside of this thing so left and right so yeah coffee water water coffee switch it up okay and then there are two pockets on the inside here i keep my work id in there um and then on the other one, I keep my, oh, my emergency chocolate. Oh. Uh, we need so There's some nice leather accents throughout the bag. That's what I really liked. I liked about this bag. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're, they're just subtle little things. Just like with the zipper, it has the, the nice little leather 
pieces. I don't know how you do this, babe. These leather pieces. Yeah, like roll tops are always hard to show in the inside because they're roll top and the nature of them is to close at the top. So yeah, there's it's only one, difficult. One, this, one opening way, so. Yeah, so they have the little nice little leather accents and then they have um, some branding here and some wise words of... Some of inspiration. Some Bellroy words of wisdom. <laughs> oh, and Bellroy has this really nice little owl that I love. Owls are my favorite. Right, let's pull it up to the camera. So you can see the little owl. Pull it up to the camera so they can see his little mm -hmm. owl mm -hmm. logo mm -hmm. up in there. But... Yep. Oh, so I don't know what the fabric is, but the inside pockets are like meshy. Okay. Which I think it's is like nice. Expandable. expandable. Expandable mesh material for more than one emergency piece two of chocolate. pockets in the front, or two or three. What don't judge me, <laughs> two or three pieces of chocolate. Yes, okay. and that's pretty much it on the inside. So, we're down here at the end of the video, and usually, this is a place where I start to you know talk about the price on this thing. The MSRP on this bag is $195. Is this something that you think you would buy? Oh, yes, definitely. I would definitely buy this think it would be great if you were looking to step up your work game. One thing about this Bellroy bag that, you know, that kind of concerned me a little bit is the fact that there's only a three-year warranty on a bag. And I think once you start touching that $200 price point, mm -hmm. you should, I don't know, a lifetime warranty would be nice. Yeah. Would be nice. <laughs> it would be nice, especially you know, if you're, if you're rough on your bags, like, like I am, if something breaks or you get a snag or something, it'd be nice to know that you can return it or they could repair it past yeah. the three years. But all in all, you you would buy this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like. I mean, I do like the construction of the bag. The the sewing on it is excellent. I probably would have chose a different material for the outside of the bag, mm -hmm. just because I know that canvas is going to patina. Some people will say a patina, or it's going to wear. Yeah. You know, like regular com it's gonna wear on the outside and there's already kinda like some peeling going on on the back. So linty. Very <laughs> linty. Yes. <laughs> linty. <laughs> so I mean that's that's really the bag, man. Thanks for watching George the Fine guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down button two times. And down in the comments, down there in the comments, we're talking about everyday carry packs, knives, flashlights, and apparently the ladies can get in now. We're talking mm -hmm. about ladies everyday carry as well. Irene Defined is my name. No, hold up. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> we gonna kick her off the show. Next time, she will not be here, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Let's do it again. Do it again. <laughs>